Jos, the capital of Plateau State, is in the heart of Nigeria's religiously diverse Middle Belt. It's here that the mostly Muslim North meets the largely Christian South. Muslims killed the Christians and the Christians too also killed the Muslims. Five girls were burnt, including my friend. Let's imagine a house on fire. Children were dying inside. It was the Muslims that did that. They burned my brother's shop. They used to kill the Muslims. I saw them as evil because whatever happened, I only lay the blame on the Christians. Not even only me, even those in our community. A lot of our young people have grown in a, in a season of violence and conflict. And therefore, the culture they are projecting in the future is going to be that culture. That culture of violence. So it is now that if we really want to stop, that the next generation will not carry on the present uh, psyche of violence, then it is now to start. The selection of young girls, 12 to 15, was deliberate because they are often not seen, particularly in, the, in terms of the conflict. Some of those young girls have never seen peace. In the Niger girls, we were being chosen 11 Muslims and 11 Christians. They make sure that in each room, a Christian and a Muslim. We were told about how conflicts can affect the life of someone and how you can resolve violence, how trauma can affect a person, and about empathy. I discovered that they are just the way we are, no difference. Just that they pray on Friday, pray on Sunday, they worship, they call him Allah, we call him Jesus. I'm a Muslim and she's a Christian. And through the grace of God, we've started knowing each other. That fear of being uh, humiliated or even being killed, it's gone. I decided to see her as a person that really loves me, a person that really cares for me, a person that really believes, yes, the Niger girls can make changes for their own country. When I come back from the camp, I was now deciding to separate the news to my community that the Christians are not evil. They should stop cursing the Christians. They should stop blaming them. It's not their fault. If you can help them, to develop a voice and a capacity to engage, people will be, be shocked at first. As Janet come back, she can't teach us how to, to have mind to forgiveness. We too, we will still teach some people just to forgive them so that we will have peace. I believe my voice can be a greater change in Nigeria because I can advocate peace. There is no way that violence can be a better alternative to peace. There is no way you can live without peace. There is no way you can live without love. If these kids who should know nothing are able to articulate the message of peace, the next generation is going to have ways of dealing with conflict in a way that is not adversarial. Be the future peace builder in my own country, and I'm very proud of that. Just, if you just imagine, it can be possible for everyone to live in peace. <laughs>